Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over how to make our bot and also how to get our bot onto our server. So the first thing you need to do is Google Discord Development Portal. And then you can just go into the first link that they gave you right here. The moment you click on this link, you should be able to see the documentations to the Discord server. And then you can just go over here to the applications. And here you should be able to see all your bots. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to add a new Discord bot and add it to our server. Right, and then you should be able to log in with a Google account or something to then be able to show up to the screen. If you guys want to see a way to do this, I showed this step by step in my original discord.py series. So once we're here, we can then just click a new application. So once we click new application, it will then tell us to name our application. I want to name it a game bot. Then we click create and then it should make us a new game bot, right? So next we want to say that this is a bot, right? So we want to go down to the bot section and then click add bot. Then we still click yes, do it. And now our bot is a bot. As you can see right here, this token is very important, is what you can connect your code to your Discord bot itself. Okay, so now that you finish making your bot, you then go over to OAuth2 over here. And then you can go scroll down a little bit, and then you see this little right here that says bot. This is how we will invite our bot to the server. We can then click on bots, and then we can scroll down to the bot's permission. We then give the bot an admin position. So if we want our bot to be able to do everything inside of our own server, right? Um, mainly the admin position will just change this number right here. So we just want to give the bot specific permission. So like connect, speak, audio, mute player like this. It would then give us a different number. But we just want admin position, which is just eight. Okay, so once you have this link, you can copy this and go up to your web browser and click enter, right? It will then tell you what server you want to add your bot. You can just go down here, drop down. And then I want to add my bot to the exceed server. I click yes and continue. It will say that it's going to have administrative permission and then we're going to say yeah right authorize and now we added our bot just need to prove our human and now it's added if you go to the exceed server over here you can see that the new bot has been added it's called game bot right here okay so now that we have our bot up and running we want to go over to the bot file again and then we're going to click over here into the review token so the token would then allow us to use our code to then access and talk to our bot on the discord server right we wouldn't want to copy this so this token right here you should never share with anyone if you give it to them they can then access your bot so once we're in python we want to make a new variable we want to call it token all uppercase right then we want to uh, have a string where we can then paste our token into here right next we want to also have another uh, variable called prefix so a prefix is whatever that we type before our first command we, whenever we want to have a command we'd always do a little prefix before it so like exclamation point play or something like that so for our bot we want to use an exclamation point right so next we want to then import discord right so we want to import the discord library discord.py library that we downloaded before then we want to go do and import something directly from discord.py itself we want to do from discord.ext import commands so only from this um this little file right here discord.ext we would then import the one function called commands so now we want to have a new bot variable right so we can then call bot is equal to commands dot bot so here we're creating a bot class we then want to give it a prefix so we can do command underscore prefix and then we give it our prefix since we already defined our prefix up here we can then just copy and paste it over here and it will reference up there right then we want to give it a description right so description is equal to and then we just give it a random description uh general discord bot right so now we want to have a first event so an event is whenever this is triggered the discord will then do something right so this event will just tell us whenever our bot is online so now we're just going to type about dot event and then we're going to do an asynchronous event so this can happen whenever right so async death so definition here means that we're defining a new function. Then this event is called on underscore ready, right? And then we're just going to do colon to end that function. And then whenever it's ready, we're then going to print out something to the console itself, like I am alive, right? Alive, right? So whenever the bot is alive, it's going to say I am alive. So now let's go down and see how we can run our bot. So the thing that we just have to do is that we can just do bot dot run. And then the first thing we give it is a token, right? And then next we're going to say that this is a bot so bot is equal to true then we also want to do if is able to reconnect so we want to do reconnect is equal to true right so once we finish this we can just hit run 
and then it should say if our bot is alive whenever this event is triggered. As you can see right here, it triggered, so I am alive. So now let's head over to our Discord server. As you can see right here, our Discord server, our bot right here is alive. It's up and running. So now our bot's alive, so that's a great way to end, right? That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.